Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU. And in just two short days, Apple's going to unveil the next generation 2018 iPhones to the world, as well as several other exciting brand new products. The first link down below in the description, as well as in your cards right now, will feature live video coverage streamed by Apple themselves from directly within inside the event. Be sure to visit it now, bookmark it, and then return Wednesday morning for live coverage. Again, this event will take place on September 12th. 2018, two days from now, at 10 a.m. Pacific time or 1 p.m. Eastern. If you live in a different time zone, you'll just have to look up what time that is for you. But also, the first link below does feature a handy countdown timer so you can see how long the wait actually is. And of course, that is dynamic. But again, this post is on besttechinfo.com and it will feature live video coverage that you'll be able to stream from your iOS device or your Mac. If you have a Windows-based PC or you're watching on a different platform, then you will unfortunately have to find a different stream because the one provided by Apple requires that you be on an iOS device or Mac OS. But if you're watching this video and you're excited for the event, chances are you at least have an iOS device which you'll be able to watch on. We will also have live Twitter updates. For those of you who can't watch the event for whatever reason, in real time, we will be tweeting the most important announcements as they unfold, so be sure to follow us on Twitter if you have yet to. Again, for a quick recap, Apple is expected to announce the iPhone XS as well as XS Plus. The XS Plus being a bigger variant of what I have right here, the iPhone X, but of course upgraded for 2018 with the standard expected updates. But again, we are going to receive this form factor in a much much bigger device. That should be absolutely fantastic. I, for one, am extremely looking forward to that. It's said to feature a 6.5 inch display measuring diagonally when compared to this 5.8 inch display. We're also expected to get a 6.1 inch LCD iPhone, which will be lower cost than either of the two 10S variants. And the name for that device is seemingly unknown at this point. Recent rumors as of today actually suggest it could be named the iPhone XR, which seems awful in my opinion, but who knows? We'll find out more on Wednesday. We could also receive brand new AirPods with the wireless charging case as well as air power. Remember that thing that Apple unveiled a while back that said to be able to charge not only your iPhone, but also your Apple Watch and your AirPods simultaneously? Yeah, that thing might finally see the light of day at this event and we might finally get pricing and availability details then. We might also potentially receive some news around new iPad and Mac models. Some rumors suggest that we will actually receive new releases for those devices at this event, but others state that we could actually have another event next month in October, which we've had in years past. Remember the typical iPad October event? Maybe that makes a comeback this year. For full details, be sure to check out that link below, besttechinfo.com. That link is dynamically updating, so of course you just need to bookmark it and return when the event goes live. We will have full coverage. We'll keep you fully up to date. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you're fully informed anytime we release new coverage. And like I said, you'll be in the loop for everything related to this event. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.